California's Proposition 12 now in effect in that state, but it could affect hog farms like this one right here in Iowa and across the country. On a cold winter day, yep, just eyeball it. Dave Struther marks his hogs for market. Yep, that they're big enough. Those with the pink paint are heading out the next day, but under California's new law, these hogs can't go to that state. For me, um, the pigs I buy come from farms that do use gestation stalls, so uh, none of these pigs that I raise are going to ever ever end up in California. A gestation stall is a smaller pen that doesn't allow a sow to turn around after birthing and keeps them by themselves. It protects the piglets from getting laid on because the sow can't turn around and do a lot of things to crush them and hurt them and they can have individualized care. And starting the first of the year, pork in California can't come from an animal put in one. The law also creates larger cage requirements for chickens and veal calves. It's common sense that a mother pig should turn around. Josh Balk, vice president of farm and animal protection at Humane Society of the U.S., led that proposed ballot campaign in California, which passed with 63% of the vote. Many of the largest meat companies in the United States have publicly stated that they are in Prop 12 compliant and they are eager and ready to sell uh, to California. But the Pork Producers Council is not eager and does not support the law. They are reaching halfway across the country. They're reaching across international borders to send their inspectors and to try and regulate how farmers farm far outside the boundaries of California. The Pork Producers say only four to five percent of farms are compliant to Prop 12. All while Struthers believes his packer will just send his hogs elsewhere. In Collins, James Stratton, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.